Alrighty, checking in here at the end of preview night for 2019. Uh, we normally do a big kind of wrap-up video on Sunday. I'm sure we'll probably do something like that again, but thought maybe this year try here and there. Uh, we'll see if how consistent can be do some wrap-up videos in the evening here to kind of just share some observations or things like that for anybody that might be interested in things going on at Comic-Con as it comes to the floor and off-sites and stuff like that. So let's start with our day. We did a press preview of the Amazon Prime video off-site uh, where they have the boys, the Expanse, as well as Carnival Row all being kind of highlighted there. Uh, and knowing coming into the the week just how much was going on particularly with the boys just of them promoting it that they were going all out again and they definitely did lots of swag opportunities there the offsite itself is really cool in terms of the interactive elements uh, you basically wait into a line to get into the park area and then once you're in the park you've got carnival row expanse and the boys all having separate interactive kind of shows uh, that you're allowed to participate in each of them has their own queuing area uh, each of them move pretty slow but are pretty fantastic seemingly when you get in we were only able to do the boys even though we were there for a press preview and we were there about an hour and a half and so it, it was a slow go so expect a pretty long wait but if you get in you know it's a lot of fun and you may want to just take your time and really hang out there and experience it now they will give you coins when you get in and what we are told is that these coins would be your ability to buy things uh, they had churros and some drinks or fruit or things like that. The, I don't understand or I'm not positive if the experience themselves have, requires the coins, uh, but they gave those and they, they kind of passed that on. Then these were all swag items from within the experience. At the conclusion of, so for example, the conclusion of the boys interactive show, we got this. At the conclusion of Expanse, we didn't do it, but they still gave us. It's an Expanse mug. Um, and so there's something at the end of each of those. Now, there was a secret room, and that's where we picked up these four things. And so that was really cool. It's pretty easy if you go around the internet to, to find out what that's all about. But I would say if you do do Amazon, plan on a long way to get in, plan to spend time in there, check out there's some shows on that big uh, giant stage that they've got set up there. I think it's 60 feet or something like that that highlight all of the shows. Um, and there's a lot of actors roaming around and uh, you can talk to them and find out other little secret things in terms of where to find things and stuff like that. But Good Omens, uh, it took finding the secret room and then inside the secret room I had to complete a task that I fortunately did really well at and that was my reward was kind of the top prize. So that is all part of the Amazon offsite. Then making our way to the floor, uh, we had really good fortune with the floor. The biggest deal to us usually is Hasbro. I'm a big Marvel Legends fan, a big Star Wars fan, um, and obviously they have both of those licenses. So in making my way over there, uh, we knew we'd be in pretty good shape because we joined the Hasbro Pulse kind of premium membership when it was free last year. Uh, and so we enrolled in that and saw, thought we'd see what happened. Really nothing has come of it. It hasn't been useful the entire year. It didn't help out with Star Wars Celebration or anything like that. But for Comic-Con, uh, all of a sudden they were going to have this uh, drawing, or I shouldn't say drawing, they had this opportunity to try to snag uh, tickets to the booth. And so we were able to snag the tickets. So thankfully I was able to get preview night was able to get in there. They let us onto the floor uh, at 5.30, went directly to the booth. I think I was maybe the 10th person in line, which I've never experienced in all these years of Comic-Con, and was able to get everything I wanted really easy. It was very surreal, to be honest. I've never been done. By 6 p.m., I was done with Hasbro. Literally has never happened, so that was quite pleasant all the way around. This is a really kind of surreal year for me with Hasbro. It's never been this easy, but I'm glad it's done and over with. And they were taking walk-ups without uh, needing the uh, needing to have won the lottery tonight. So keep an eye out for that. Hasbro was opening intermittently. I believe they opened at points when everything was in stock as well, including the very coveted magic cards. So keep an eye out for that. We have become fans of Del Rey and what they've done with this kind of Thrawn signature series of books. These cover 
covers are absolutely fantastic and they've got Zahn's signature inside. They give a special pin with it, a cool Yoda bag, the free sampler. So we like that. It's very easy to get. Just head over to the Del Rey booth over in the Star Wars Pavilion. Uh, thankfully, we were able to nab. This was like the top prize to me in terms of Funko. I love the Ad Icon series and I particularly love anything that's Comic-Con, very specific and you can't get more specific than the Toucan. Very excited to get this. Our friend uh, Steve helped out with that, and it was awesome, awesome, awesome of him to be able to do that for us. Him being able to help us out made just such a huge difference because I was definitely set to get these, um, but I just figured I'd go to eBay eventually because it didn't win the lottery for the Funko SDC X booth, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, so it's fine to do that, but he really helped out. We were able to help him out with the Hasbro item that he was looking for too. So it just was perfect that we both kind of were able to help each other out, but very appreciative of that. Um, he's 80s for now on Twitter. He's got lots of cool toy stuff uh, that you can check out there. Then over at Tamashi, uh, if you followed along with us at all, you know that I've become a really big fan of Dragon Ball in the last year. Uh, so something at Comic-Con literally last year, this would not have interested me at all. Um, but over the last year, uh, we have watched a ton of it. And I mean, we've even got a Funimation account now. And uh, yeah, so anyway, we found out that towards the very end of the night, they were taking some people without tickets right at the very end of the night. So we made our way over there, got the Goku Black and the Sun. Uh, very excited about that. Uh, a big tip from our friends over at CBC Apparel. That they had found that out, which was fantastic. Uh, then Kodo, they are doing giveaways of these Artifacts Premier Promo Pack cards uh, from Marvel. And um, that seemed to be kind of intermittent, so something to keep an eye on. Uh, we found them at both of the Kodo booths um, there. Picked up, speaking of anime, when we were at Anime Expo, because we're Funimation members, uh, Carmel was able to win a fig pin, the kind of small mini versions, and we thought these are actually kind of cool. The acrylic cases, the stand-up figures, just kind of neat setups all the way around. And love Duke Kaboom, and he was an exclusive at the booth, so I was able to pick that up. Uh, the way Fig Pin's doing, you have to go in the morning and get a ticket to be able to grab something. So also, I should say that that's the same with Del Rey. You go to the booth, you get a wristband, and you come back at whatever time they tell you. Uh, same thing for that, except for at the end of the night, they opened up because we didn't get a ticket for Fig Pin, but Carmel was able to come by and they opened it up to general access. And I think that's something we've seen consistently with all the booths is that if you're there, right place, right time, consistent uh, trying, you might be able to just get in there without a ticket. That's been now two years, all of last year, now this year, kind of consistent. Uh, probably the exception is Funko. I think Funko, we don't hear much of that. Just a little murmur here and there. Black Hammer, fantastic comic. I love buying comics in person. I love buying trades in person. We headed over to the Dark Horse booth. I know most people buy online, but I like getting them in person. So it's hard to find Dark Horse uh, Black Hammer stuff just at your regular comic shop. So I'd like just heading over there. We picked those up. Over at... Uh, with a Toho Godzilla, they've got the Godzilla King of Monsters. They're kind of celebrating with their own booth over there. They've got these fan giveaways. Then we picked up a couple posters from Fox. Marvel also had some posters out as well as some free comic book day comics. I really like this uh, interpretation of Wolverine and just this poster itself is like a really nice kind of thicker glossy. Uh, action there, so kind of cool as well. So, uh, so I'd say the big observations of the day, if you're going to Amazon, make sure to plan a lot of time and know that once you get inside the facility, there's gonna be a lot more time waiting in line for things, so just plan accordingly. And to me, I think if I was going for Amazon, I would just plan that it's gonna be at least half my day, if not uh, longer. In terms of the floor, uh, lots of opportunities. If you don't have a winning uh, lottery ticket from the uh, various booths there, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of opportunities there. It's just being kind of persistent, being consistent, talking to people, asking them, seeing if they know if booths will open up. And I mean, things will sell out throughout the weekend. But if you watched our tip stuff, we kind of talked about a layered approach to uh, getting help. You know, ideally, 
first and foremost, you just win your way in like it did with Hasbro and just kind of, okay, got lucky and because it was Hasbro Pulse and they gave us that. But level two, going to people you actually know that you can text and talk to and seeing if that can be of help. So haven't had to go to level three yet of using kind of social media groups or things like that or, or you know, obviously ultimately eBay yet. So hoping everybody that's at Comic-Con is having a good time. We will share more. We're going to be doing a lot of activations, lots of offsites. So uh, even if we don't pick much up else from the floor, uh, we can share some thoughts on those. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Until next time, we'll see you at Comic-Con.